It's like a pizza, but the bread is chicken. The Smoggy Scholar. What a name. Ah! Crisps! A disaster. We're in Middlesbrough. We're in Middlesbrough. The first city, well not even a city is it, the first place we've been that none of us have ever visited before. This is the first hotel we've been to that's named after Ninja Turtle. It's me, 310, where are you Stevie? You said you were 311 a minute ago. Maybe I am 311. Yeah, I'm 311. Oh, look at this. Oh, the opposite. Premier executive. What? Oh, We've got good rooms on, it's not just Jack and Fee. I'm expecting something big here. Good luck. Here we go. Right, let's see what this is like. Oh, like a little house. Wowzers. Little desk. Nice big bed. Four pillows, could fit four humans in here. Windows, check out the view. Trees, it's a plastic bag in a tree. And a little lounge area. Let's sit here, hang out for a bit. Check out, oh, fridge, cupboards. Let's check out this bathroom. Bath. Yeah, don't mind this. So checked into the hotel, chilled out for a little bit, then went for a little 45 minute run around Borough. A little explore. I've had a bath. I'm just went past the venue, but before I go in, we're gonna go and get a local Middlesbrough delicacy. Off to get a Parmo, which is a local borough delicacy. I've had one before when I was up here brewing a beer with S43 a little while back, and it was absolutely lovely. So we're gonna go and see what they've got on offer here. This is where the others are, I think. Manjaros. What have you up to, mate? I've just been go-karting with poor manager Luke. How's you get on? Look at this. Look at those cuties. Quite a couple of helmets. Here we go. He said the first time. Luke came first of everyone there. That's why he's so keen to do it, isn't it? Yeah, I came third though, which I'll take. Well, mate, you can't even drive. Exactly, so everyone below me should be embarrassed. Okay, Robbie, we are here in Middlesbrough, and I'm gonna try chicken parmo for the very first time. I've gone for a spicy chili pepperoni one. Cheers. It's unreal with it. It's, good. it's really good. It's like a pizza, but the bread is chicken. <laughs> <laughs> good review. Stevie, you obviously wanted to try one as well. How's your, uh, how's your, oh, it's a plain burger. Yeah, I fucked it. I've actually really fucked it and I'm sad. The amount of cheese scared me, it doesn't even look that cheesy. You're an idiot. Stevie, I've gifted you some. You're a hero. Tell me what you think. That's so much better than what I ordered. I like what I got, but that's incredible. Well done, Middlesbrough. A decent parmo, but it was a bit too bechamel saucy for me. I think I preferred the my previous foray into the world of Parmos, but yeah, it's a, it's a great food. You've been in this theatre already, Stevie, today? I came in here earlier just to drop off some things. Um, it's it's all right, it's all right. So we're, we're in the crypt, I believe they call it. The we're, dungeon. We're underground. Um, we've got little chairs today rather than stools. So come and have a look at this. It's good to do confessions in the crypt. This is, so we tried to make it as good as possible for you, Robbie. This is a little section. I like come it. Around? Oh, this is lovely. I love this. Yeah? Yeah. This is the crib. What a great little space. These seats aren't very comfy for people. They look cool though, Stevie. They are very comfy, Stevie. What, have all of them stacked on top of each other like that? <laughs> <laughs> and obviously you've got new chairs on the stage. Look at this lounging. I'm going to have to check out how very lounging. I think. Has this been a nightmare for you, Pietro? No, I think this actually looks rather classy. It does look classy, yeah. So the, the space room tonight has got us. Just turning the camera, but I'm also doing a sound check. <laughs> the space room tonight has got a low ceiling, so we have to have the projector from the front instead of from the back, as we normally do. Fun fact. Ah. 
Luke, with a few people in the comments asking you for your magic trick, have you have you got one ready yet or are you still going to rehearse? I, I, haven't, I haven't even practiced. Stevie's still got a deck of cards, but once he gives him deck of cards, I'll what, start practicing. What show are you going to do a magic trick out of for? How about Belfast? Dublin? Dublin. Dublin, Dublin yeah. magic trick. I'll do it in Dublin. Give me the cards, I'll have it ready for Dublin. Okay. Yeah. You can rehearse on the ferry. Yeah, yeah, brilliant. Perfect. So Luke, does it have a cheese board? Oh, look at this! Who's done this? You haven't, have you? <laughs> I haven't done You've this. You've absolutely not done this. Who's done this? I can't take the credit for this. This is uh, the venue? Yeah. Come on, venue. Look at that. Millsborough's the best place in the world. I like your sofa. You look very comfortable. I feel like it's cuddling me. I don't really get much affection or love in my life. And I think this is absolutely marvellous. Do you want me to come and cuddle you? Always. Have you been messaging someone called Emma? <laughs> well, what they said? It's bullshit. Well, a kind fellow called James, who's Emma's boyfriend, said, please can you give this box to Robbie Knox? Oh God, what is it? Robbie's Do you know what? Someone, yeah, someone did friend. message us about doing some baking. Yeah. Is it baked goods? It might be cookies. Stevie, let's open up the box. It says happy hour on it. There's a letter. Oh, oh my God! Look at all this! Wow! What um? Is there a cookie care thing there? Luke, what did uh, the person who dropped it off look like? I mean, basically, what I'm saying is, what percentage chance is of this being poison? Oh, you seem like a nice guy. So no. we're saying what? Thirty percent poison? Thirty yeah. percent. Yeah. Robbie, we're in luck. I'll take those odds. Official bakery people. Ah, oh, ten percent poison then. Yeah, not some nutter who's just decided to try and poison us. Not today. Okay. Do you know what? I'm going to go so far as I say I'm actually going to eat this and not put it in the bin. They've given us full cookie care instructions. Mm. Cookie products should be eaten within four days and will be best eaten warm the longer they are kept. I'm going to start with the Rocky Road as a test. What is this? Coastal Bakes? Coastal Bakes. bakes. Oh, it's lovely. I'm going to have a bit of brownie. And I'm assuming the poison doesn't kick in. Really, really good. Would recommend. So the last two nights, Luke, we forced this story out of Luke. One of the best stories ever. You know, do you remember when we first met Luke, Robbie, and you said to me, he's full of surprises. Yeah. Like he's just, um, he does magic, or he's done this, or he's done that. Over to Pickle Boy. Well, basically, Robbie, I was working in a pub in East London, and it was like loads of beers. They had hundreds of beer, well, not hundreds of beer taps, 24 beer taps, but I didn't know anything about beer. And they had a little cheeky jar of pickled eggs in the corner. One day, a guy come in, he said, can I have a pickled egg? in a bag of crisps. And instantly I thought, this must be a thing. So from that moment on, anytime someone came in, it's like upselling the eggs. The eggs started going so well, the accountant of the pub came in, she was like, why are the egg sales so good? Like no one, they had, they had a jar of eggs that had been there nearly a year. And then all of a sudden within a couple of days, they were gone. So we started ordering more eggs. Then this lady came in, and she was like the pickled egg lady from Gloucester. So she had all these different flavors. She had like chili flavor, garlic flavor, horseradish, balsamic, cider, uh, beetroot, like normal pickled eggs. There was another flavor, I can't remember what it was. Maybe, like, like normal pickled eggs is the same, says. So then all of a sudden I had eight different jars of eggs to sell. So as soon as someone came in, I'd be like, what egg are you going for? And as soon as one person got an egg, another person wants an egg. And then someone else sees them eating an egg. Before you know it, everyone in the pub's eating eggs. So I'm selling, about 10 jars of eggs a week now. So then the pickle egg lady comes back and she's like, look, I supply eggs to loads of pubs and taverns across the country, but this pub is selling more eggs than anyone. What's going on? And I was like, it's me. I'm selling all these bloody eggs. So then she was like, well, I'm going to have to create an award for you. So she created like a pickled egg award, awarded it to me for being like the king of pickled eggs, like selling the most eggs across the country. So then I thought, well, I wanted some attention for this. So I wrote myself a press release and I put, <laughs> sent it off to the Hackney Citizen. And they, uh, there's an icon I'll show you later, you can read it, it's quite good. 
But then from there, I thought, you know, we're getting these eggs rolling. Let's, let's keep the momentum up. So I started a comedy night called Pickle Boy Comedy. And then the, the selling point of the first night was I was going to set a Guinness World Record for the most people eating a pickled egg at the same time. <laughs> So I got my friend to come along dressed up as a representative of Guinness World Records. He had the shirt, he had the cap, he had a little clipboard. I told him just to point at people and pretend like he was counting. When I actually sent it to Guinness World Records, they said, that's not a record, that's just people eating. <laughs> <laughs> so I never actually got the record, but then like, we had like about 10 of these comedy shows and every night, the act there is a Guinness World Record where it's three eggs in 34.5 seconds. So I'll get contestants up at every show to try and beat that record. And no one ever could. We, we did egg training in the pub. And so I had loads of contestants, but every time they got on stage, they got egg fried and fucked it, basically. Egg fried? <laughs> Pickle Boy. So that's, that's how I got the, uh, the name Pickle Boy, Pickle Boy Malloy. Could not have guessed that story, if I'm honest. No. Amazing. Show Love the tattoo, it. Mate. And uh, that's what a tattoo is. Pickle ah, egg in a jar. Nice. I've seen that, did wonder. Yeah. Thought it was a fetus. Cock Tavern's Pickle Boy Malloy wins egg award. Picture of Luke there with the egg award. <laughs> Hackney's Cock Tavern tasted victory after its pickled eggs rode a wave of excitement to win an industry prize. More than 1,000 eggs have been sold at the Mayor Street pub since September, with customers given a choice of eight pickled flavours, including blah, blah, blah. Crowning the tavern with its We Love Pickled Eggs Award, the tavern's Luke... Pickle Boy Malloy, who was behind the egg craze, said the phenomenon was inspired by a customer request. A guy came in and asked for a packet of crisps with a pickle leg, he said. It's apparently an old London tradition. I was inspired by that and started selling eggs. And people kept eating them. Uh, Mr Malloy said, I'd like to experiment with different eggs, like ostrich eggs, have an egg menu. Purely pickled eggs said they could not believe the success of eggs in acne. <laughs> And then finally, meanwhile, the tavern is also leading the way for the Beard Friendly Pub of the year 2016. The winner will be announced on the 17th of January. Did you win that? Yeah, we did, yeah. What just happened, Luke? Hiya, Robbie. Um, as well as your cakes, someone's just given you some donuts. That's you very nice. Look. What, 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 what percentage are you talking on the poison scale? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say 30. 30%. I think they're quite legit, but 30% of me is, yeah. you know, nervous. Okay. Yeah, that's cool. So the, the, the cookies were saying quite low, 10% of the other stuff, aren't we? Because again, with the card, yeah. it's a bit more likely to be poison than the others. I think so. Yeah, cool. But you can, you can be the judge. Thank you. What did you just ask? No, did, no. What did you just say? I was just wondering if when Luke first saw me, he just went like this. You're oh, that guy's brown. That guy's brown guy. You're not brown, right? No, me, when he saw me. I don't think you're much darker than, darker than Luke. No, no. Yeah, I genuinely, I'm so yeah, unracist, I did not know you were brown. Yeah, know. I'm brown, we're being brown, apparently. You could I'm be Chinese Asian, for it, no, yeah. no idea. I'm not, but if you think all Asians look the same. Stevie, I forgot to ask, did you drink 10 pints last it's night? No, but I'll tell you for why. I said I would. I said I would. I even looked for a nightclub that was open till 5am. Jack decided to put that 100 that he won back on the roulette so that he could not actually lose 100. Lost it all. So then he said he wouldn't do it. Wow. I would gamble, done kids. I was keen. Been in the gym today, Pietro? No, not today. Rest day, rest to grow. Just getting slack, to be honest. Are you? Yeah. For the last show, will you take your top off for us? No. Oh. I'll tell you, well, it depends. How much are you willing to pay? Um, I will give you everything I've got to see it again. <laughs> so 30 quid? Yeah. <laughs> All right, then. Deal. Thank All right, we'll get 30 quid. Right, brilliant. I'll, I'll chip in. Welcome to magic. Welcome to magic. Ooh. Whoa. Oh. Dine and no. We're ready. I'm ready. It's Stevie, very aggressive. Bring on for middle school. Naughty. Yeah? Give me your face. Smack. That's Sorry. Come yeah. on. This is going to be a very good show. I've decided. Have you? I was in a bad mood yesterday. I apologise for that. But today I'm in a good mood. We're going to win. It's going to be brilliant today. I'm really excited. It's Jack Great! How fun's middle for Jack? Yeah. Great, aren't they? It's good. So good. I love that space. 
Sucking dick! <laughs> Some guy just had his sucking dick, the man. The worst heckle I think we've received all tour. played a game where someone gets a pepperami about an inch or two up oh, fucking hell it's worse than anything I could have said anyway <laughs> I was gonna make something like horrific about you being a nonce now that everyone's looking and you've written this Oh yeah, okay. That was so that good. That confetti was mad. <laughs> it was in the face, didn't it? Honestly, Jack was stood next to it. I was going, fucking no, move, yeah, yeah, Jack! Yeah. I was so scared it was just going to smash him in the face. Yeah. They don't do it without light of sight, I don't think, but still, he needs to move, yeah. Fucking hell. <laughs> oh, he goes, you're getting it tomorrow. I thought, what? What are you on about? He said, a delicious palm, eh? <laughs> Security goes, <laughs> yeah. Did you think you had a death threat? Yeah. <laughs> I went, you what, mate? <laughs> Right. If we are in the championship, all of us next season. Yeah. Next yeah. Club, the yeah. 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 And Norwich. And Norwich. Yeah. Yeah. My kids. Oh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Cheers, thank you, mate. A professional magician here after the show. What's your name? Tom Dawes, the Dimple Magician. The Dimple Magician, love Got that. Cute dimples. Okay. So, um, if we're going to do a trick together, do you want this kind of film, and I can do it to you? Okay. Oh, yeah. Does that Not work? Not responsibility. That? Don't push yeah. advantage. Don't fuck it up. Yep. So, okay. um, what I want you to do is to yep. go and pick a card. It doesn't matter if I see. I'm seeing them on the floor. Man. All right. What I need you to do is just sign the card nice and big. Yeah. Beautiful. So we know that one's yours because you signed it, right? We're going to take it. We're going to push it in about a quarter of the way down the pack. Now, can you click your fingers? And every time you do, your card will come back to the top, right? right. So watch, we're going to take your cards. We'll go back in the middle. You click your fingers. And just like that, come back to the top. Know that's your card because it's going to be outside. So watch, what we're going to do, we're going to cut the pack in half. This is you. Yeah. Can you push it in there for me and click your fingers? Can you see it? Now, can I borrow what can you write with? This one? This one, pop, pop this in. Uh, squeeze for me. What I'm going to do, I'm going to click my fingers now. Every card is going to vanish from your hand. Yeah. What your card is. You ready? Yeah. Did you feel it? No. Had that said to me before? Different scenario, don't worry about it. Open your hand. Is this one yours? He's <laughs> good, isn't he? He's good. You got an Instagram or something? Absolutely. I'm going to I'm gonna give you my card and then you can uh, tag me. Amazing. Uh, at Dimple Magician. At Dimple Magician. Get involved. Love that. Cheers, buddy. Nice to meet you. Cheers, thank you for that. Luke, no I'm not saying the pressure's on you. Go Someone on. at stage door just did a magic trick for me. Was that a good yeah, one? Same, uh, was that a yeah. good one? Yeah, it was good. Yeah. What, what did I do? The Dimple Magician. You need a good name. The Dimple mu Magician? Dim yeah. yeah. You need a name like Pickle Boy, the Magician. They made me pick any card and yeah. then they peeled the sticker off and I had my face on. Right? Which you could say, obviously, they all had my face on. Yeah. But um, they they signed, so I signed it. Yeah. Put it in the deck, shuffled it. Yeah. Gave me a separate deck that I had yeah. my hands on. But I see the card go in that, and then it was in my hands. Oh, it's quite impressive. Was, yeah. I, I don't know if mine's going to be as good as that. I was hate these in practice. Do one, do it now. I can't think no, he's going to Dublin. Dublin. He's doing it. Yeah. He's going to have a few days over the weekend. Give it to Dublin. <laughs>